young man dream will definitely come through. One thing I have to give us Jamaicans credit for is that when a fellow Jamaican is successful, we are proud. And we feel that we as a nation have achieved success. When I watch the African YouTubers calling themselves reactors, try to do the opposite. It is very mind-boggling. Maybe because we were displaced. Why we have that uniqueness about us, within ourselves and among us. We fight. But when the outside gets involved, it's a different business. When our fellow Jamaicans go out and bring back fame or fortune to us to highlight and show the world that we are smart and overachievers, we are so proud. One can imagine the pride that this young man has brought to his parents. Delroy Patterson, parents walked so he could fly. And after five years of living his dream as a pilot in the United States of America, they stood proudly and watched as he landed at Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay for the first time last Thursday afternoon. The parents were so proud that they had to come and see that they come down. So can you imagine how they felt? He told the cleaner that he had always dreamed of becoming a pilot and watching as aircraft flew by his home became a favorite pastime activity. Growing up, my father used to work for Versier in-flight services limited at the Sangsters International Airport and he brought home a model of the Airbus 340 that Air Jamaica used to fly. Patterson explained, I am from Sunday Bay in Hanover, so where the planes turned to final is where I lived, and I would always see it, he added. Though he was armed with ambition and drive needed to see his dream come, fruition, Pattison told the Gleaner that he did not believe it was possible for him to become a pilot. Pattison, however, said that, this view changed after he graduated from Herbert Morrison Technical High School in St. James in 2011. I didn't think it was possible, but all of that changed when I moved to Kingston to do sixth form at a school called Quality Academics. I started looking into flight schools on the island, said Patterson. His first attempt at flight school turned out to be a disappointment. As Patterson said, he soon realized that it was a scam. However, he was not discouraged. With feet the size of a mustard seed, he was determined to succeed and make his parents proud. How many of these young guys in Jamaica nowadays want to let their parents feel proud? The ones that are scamming, the ones that are killing. If every young one could think like this guy thinks, what a beautiful Jamaica would be. A beautiful place. At the age of 21, Patterson boarded an airplane destined for Florida when he enrolled in the two-fly airborne flight school. This, he told the cleaner, would change the trajectory of his life. And this student would soon become the teacher. I got all my license, private, instrument, and commercial. It took me a while to get my commercial license because... I ran out of money, but I ended up getting money to finish and I became an instructor. He said, Patterson taught others how to fly airplanes for approximately two years before deciding to soar to greater heights. I went to a regional company called SkyWest Airlines. It flies for United, Delta, American and Alaska. So they have contracted agreements where we fly the feeder routes for the major airlines. I used to fly the CRJ 200, 900 and 700. I did that for two years and then I undergraded to the Embraer 175 where I was a captain for a year and a half, he explained. 
Just like an airplane, Patterson is always seeking new destinations to spread his wings. I felt like I had done everything that I wanted to do with that airline. So I moved to Southwest. Now I, now I am the first officer at Southwest Airlines as of November 28, 2023, said the proud pilot. Though he has flown to five countries so far, Thursday's trip to Montegobi will always be etched in his mind. Patterson told the Gleaner, can you imagine to fly a big plane back to your country and for your parents to watch? I was nervous and excited at the same time because it was my first time landing there. The captain that I was flying with made an announcement that it's my first time landing here in Jamaica and flying here. As well said Pattison. When you read something like that, man, it brings tears to your eyes. The icing on the cake, he added, was knowing that his poor parents were anxiously waiting to watch him land on his home soil. My parents were videoing the landing from outside as well. It was a great experience. I was filled with excitement. It was nice to be back home, even for an hour, said Patterson. My dad was extremely proud. My mom also took the time off from school to see me land. She sacrificed her career for me and my sister, so she didn't go to university. She became a stay-at-home mom, and my dad was the main breadwinner. She is in her final year at UTEC, getting her degree in nursing. She put her kids first, and then she go for her dreams. What a good mother. With his dream now a reality, Patterson is hoping that his parents will be upgraded to his passengers on his next flight from Jamaica. The next goal for me is to see if I can find a trip that goes from Baltimore to Montego Bay so on the flight back I can fly them from Jamaica to the States, he told the Gleaner. And, guys, he's going to do it. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News Online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button and remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.